Let's do this again. Hold on. Welcome to Forever Rivals, back for 2024. Sorry for the little bit of a, I actually, that's my fault, I'm going to own up. I forgot to start the live stream, but now it's all under control, <laughs> mate. How is everybody? We have got Peter Bluebagger straight up. We have got Robert Galicchio straight up. Welcome everybody to 2024. Is everyone excited? Mate, we're back. We're back. You should get a few cobwebs early, Rock. You had to get him out of the way, but out of the way nice and early, and we're back, mate. It feels good to be here. Yeah, good, good evening, boys. It's, it's now, good to see us all back. Before we start, I just want to, just for in case we've got some new people and people don't know who we are, which I find it unbelievable, but I'm Rocco. I'm the Carlton supporter here. We have got top right-hand side. Introduce yourself. Magpie Manny. But unfortunately, under certain terms and conditions, Rock, I couldn't handle it, and I had to remove the magpie, but I'll be back as Magpie Manny next week. Actually, happy, that's... Um... And a happy new year to everyone, and I hope they have a wonderful 2024, and then we'll come back to 2023. What a season. Yeah, we're cool. So Manny just talking shit there again, because just before the broad... Bro broadcast i said to him you could why don't you put magpie manny and then he said i'm gonna say this so he tried to like put me under straight away so stuff you all right so we have in the bottom right hand corner introduce yourself come on marco that's oh, you, yeah. bottom right -hand corner. My, that's you. my name is mark mark <laughs> I, I can put mark bomber if you like but we'll call it mark and yeah. uh, i'm an Essendon supporter, fanatical Essendon supporter. So if you don't know who I am, I follow the Mighty Bombers. And good and evening, guys. Last, last but not least, introduce yourself. Mate, Quinn from Tiger Den, the Richmond supporter in the group. It goes without saying, the most intelligent one on here. I know what I'm talking about. I know my <laughs> football. The rest of you schmucks have no idea. But we'll bring it on. It's going to be a big year, 2024. You know what? You know what? Unfortunately, you're absolutely correct. You are the most intelligent one here. So I totally <laughs> agree with you there. All right. Hey, let's just say a few highs before we go on. We got George, uh, we got Lou, we got Jay, we got Brandon, uh, we got Matula. How are you, Matula? Welcome back, fellas. Oh, I'll put this up actually. Welcome back, fellas. Hope you're all refreshed and ready to go for the new season. Go the Mighty Navy Blues. Our one of our favorites is Matula. Good evening, Matula. All right, just uh, quickly, we're going to go through the formalities here. So just quickly, we have got a brand new sponsor. Um, For Our Arrivals is now sponsored by Core 10 Security Doors and Blinds. I sound like uh, one of the bloody blokes on TV there. Security <laughs> Doors and Blinds, Core 10. Now, this Core 10 is probably owned by, well, it is. It's owned by someone on the panel here. And I'll pass it over to Marco, who's been wonderful enough to be a sponsor of our show. And just give us a quick thing about what Core 10 is and what you can do for the people that are watching us. Tell us, mate. Well, you know, thanks for having me on board uh, or, you know, sponsoring the, uh, the show. So, well, basically, Corden, quick quick um, kind of in, um, inspection on it is just been in the business for about 16 years. Um, we're a small small business in the northern suburbs, so we're based in Craigieburn. 
Um, we uh, strive on um, manufacturing security doors and blinds. So if you're building a new home or renovating or just looking to upgrade um, any of our services, uh, we, we add security, value and comfort to your home. So we've been at for, for about 18 years now. Um, if you feel that uh, you want a free measure and quote, if you mention the Jumper Show or well, jump the jump up, or, the jump or Forever Rivals, um, we're happy to offer a 10% uh, discount on, on, the, on the actual proposal. So um, like I said, small family business based in the northern suburbs in Craigieburn. Um, yeah, give us a, a free a, a free um, free call and um, yeah, we're happy to, to measure and quote for you. And, and like us on Facebook as well. Greatly appreciate it. Everyone, get on board, Colton. Yes, get on board. As as he said, you mentioned either of us. Even if you just go, I oh, know Rocco, ten percent yep. off you, mate. I'm telling you. So you oh, can straight off. Off. get off your high horse. <laughs> yeah, get off your high horse. Hey, Michael. Yeah. Hey, I reckon you've probably uh, you, you probably got inspired when uh, you realised all those bomber players were involved with the drugs, etc. You thought maybe we try. Fix some security doors, keep the druggies out, or keep the yeah. druggies in. I'm not sure, yeah. mate. I'm not sure. <laughs> I reckon most, I important, most, ask, most important, most important, protect they... your, your, your home and your family, mate. That's the most important these days. So the way society is changing a little bit, um, just just put a, a security door at the front of your home. And um, I was going to say, it, man, like I was going to say, man, are they strong enough to hold a Collingwood supporter out? Because seriously, they. They would probably just headbutt, try, try to headbutt their way through. So with their hard heads, because look at the size of Manny's head there. Seriously, like if he came to your door and started headbutting, would he be able to get in? That's all I want to know. He, 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 hey, probably, hey, he, probably, he probably wouldn't be able to get in, but he'd be able to um, maybe, um, you know, receive some hey. uh, serious damages to his to his skull there. Um, oh, I like so, it. There's no, there's no guarantees of not, um, you know, uh, not being uh, forced entry, but um, certainly it's going to take a bit of an effort for a Collingwood supporter to get in. Well, well look, I'm not the only one because everyone's saying it. We yeah. need protection from Manny, so everyone's saying yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of me, Mug, uh, I just want to say a hello to the boys at Fleet Street Barbers who looked after me today. They said, Manny, you're going into season number two. You seem to be more relaxed. We've got nothing to prove. The Magpies did a magnificent job last year. It was well scripted. Not even Hollywood could have got it as right as what we got it this year, uh, last year. So uh, a big thank you to the boys at Fleet Street for looking after me. Why thank you very you much. Before we go into that, just quickly, oh, I was going to get Quinny. What are you doing, mate? I've got a spider on the wall here. I'm going to quickly grab it. But no, go on. <laughs> I knew I was going to say, how you going? How's the tiger then going? Tell us about the tiger then. Everyone get on. The Tiger Den, mate. Uh, Quinn does a great job. Just quickly, how do we get onto the Tiger Den, mate? And everyone, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, do all that. Well, mate, I'm. Uh, thank you, Rock. Appreciate the plug. I'm. Uh, I'm big on Instagram at the moment. Um, when I say I'm big on Instagram, I'm doing a lot of my stuff on there right now. <laughs> the YouTube is about to start back up uh, this week, hopefully, which will be good. Really exciting and. Essentially, trying to mimic what's going on with the Jumper Punch and other Carlton channels and sort of grow it on the Richmond front because I feel like we're really lacking in that side of things. So really trying to take what it, you see here from the Carlton point of view and bring it over to the Richmond side of things. So if you are a Richmond supporter that's watching, jump across. It's Tiger Den TV on Instagram um, and just Tiger Den on YouTube. So you, you, won't be able to, yeah, you should be able to find it pretty easily. Sorry. Well, that's great. Everyone, seriously, get on, mate, And because, uh, yeah, we're, we're all working hard, except for Manny, but we're all working hard trying to get these channels up. And if you are trying to emulate uh, the the Jumper Punch channel, well, you've got you've got a, a good a good a good channel to look up to. So, uh, all right, let's do this. Quinny has a channel. Let's have a look what we got here. Quinny, those channels will grow with the anger from supporters losing going forward. There you go. They're already giving it to you, mate. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, All right. What we do, I would like to thank everyone. We've already got like 31 people watching. Fantastic. Thanks, everyone. If it's not be, if it wasn't for you guys, mate, we'd be just talking to ourselves, right? So thanks, everyone, for joining in. Keep <laughs> putting in the messages. Keep putting in the messages. All right, so what I've decided to do is this. Now, last year we know that the Filth won the grand final, correct? 
right? By default. Correct. By default. I don't think it's a. I don't think it's a real win. I'm going to give it a big asterisk, right? So all I want to say is this is what we're going to do because we didn't have a last show. So I just in the chat, I'm going to give Manny just a little bit of time to talk about it. Now th- th- this is what the, I just want everyone to write a number. It's either 15 or 30 seconds. That's what he gets to talk about it. Everyone, put your put your nominations in the chat. Soon as we decide how long Manny can have his time. And then after that, if he mentions the 2023 grand final at any stage, I will take him off the camera. And that's my promise to the crowd out there. So we've got everyone's got 15, 15. We've got a free second. So we, we can't allow free seconds. That's not enough. Oh, we've got a minor. <laughs> We've got a minus 15, so no, we, we, we said 15. We've got a 30 here by Lewis. Jimmy. He's been he's been generous. Oh, we've got another 30 by – oh, we've got a 30 by – and he's a calm supporter, so we've got a couple of 30s. So uh, let's have a quick look. Let's have a look. Just a couple more seconds. Does everyone agree with me there, Mark? You're happy with this? We're I'm giving happy, him yeah. time. We're giving him time. 30. Oh, we've got 20 here. That's close to oh, – well, we've got a 15 here. Go. What do you oh, reckon? For sake, Rocco. Listen, let's just get over and done with me. We've got a 35. All right. All right. I think I'm going to make an executive decision. You have got 30 seconds to talk about your premiership, right? Well, You've got 30 need, seconds. I don't need 30 seconds. All right, then whatever. You can use two seconds. I don't care. This is – right. wait, wait, because you're, right. wait, you're big head. Wait, yeah. right? <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to give you I'm going to give yeah. you your time. 30 seconds okay. we've agreed on. Yeah. I promise you right on the souls of my dead parents. If you mention 2024, I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> after that I will take you off. I start now. All right. All I, can, all I can say is that if you're a Collingwood supporter, it was a brilliant year. We had our highs, we had our lows, right? We had people like you, Rocco, who were sitting there bagging the shit out of us, but we come good and we won the flag. If you were not watching, if you were not a, a fan of either Collingwood or Brisbane in forms of entertainment, I reckon it was probably one of the best games you can watch. As a supporter, it was nerve-wracking. But you know what? It was a fantastic year. The pressure is off my shoulders. So this year is, is a, a brand new year, a year that I'm going to enjoy. And um, all I can all say right, is done. that... Uh, <laughs> done. 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 You're done. You're done. Yeah. So See you we're later. Done. Give you 30 seconds. Now, I swear, if I hear anything about the Premiership in any time, even if you just go, last, that's it, you're off. <laughs> Are you fucked, Manny? Here. All right. It's a fucker sore loser. That's what it is. He can't handle it. No, he well, can't handle it. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, everyone's uh, like, uh, everyone's uh, agreeing. Uh, everyone's uh, agreeing. Yeah. yeah. Good evening, Wayne. How are you, mate? If you're a Collingwood supporter, you should take a hard look in the mirror and ask why. Exactly right. So there you go, man. It's not just me. So you've had your time. It's over. Now, one more thing just to just to uh, finish off before we get to the hard topics, is everyone got their memberships this year or what? Come on, Rock. Come on. Don't ask me that. <laughs> I know you got it. I know Marco would have it. I've actually, I'm going to do a bit of an announcement. We're getting a shaken head. This year, they must have known and seen what we're doing, and uh, they've moved me up to the highest level. So now we are legends Ooh. of... Um, football club, so you can't get any higher than that. So it's costing me a fair penny. But me, Mars, my daughter, my son, and all that, we're all legends. We got reserve seats, so bang, straight to the top. Now we got one more question. Manny, yeah. Did you become a member? I did become a member, yes. Jamie. Oh, it's still coming in the mail. Get out of here, we I'm serious. No, no, no. I'm, I'm being honest. It's coming in the mail. It's the other day. What do you mean? You were on that membership thing, weren't you? Remember when did he when did he buy it? Hey, I can if you want, I can even give you my membership number. It? 
When did, did you buy it? membership number? I bought one, three, it in three, 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 oh, three, oh, three oh. weeks ago. I'll put it. I'll, 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 put, I'll put it this way, everybody. I've still got my contacts with inside the Collingwood membership team. I can do my fact checks over the week, and we can come back next week with an answer. Right. Hey, Quinn, no. get on it right now, mate. I want. I want this right now because uh, I. I want it tattooed on that that ugly mug head of Rocco's. You. I'll tell you, you what, Manny. It'll... No, you apparently got that like last year. At the end of last year, didn't you? No, no, we we had to change it because we ended up getting the whole family involved this year. So what? what Everyone so got what? membership, but you. All right, all right. No, so next no, year no. you're going to show. Next week you're yes, going to show. Yes, membership. yes, yes, all right. yes. All right. Yes, that's yeah. right. Then what are you going to argue about, Rocco? No, I don't know. You first no. show it, and then and then I'll tell you what I'm going to argue about. So what's Jimmy saying? I've got four weeks to produce it. Well, <laughs> yeah. look, I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's uh, it's going to come uh, in next week because uh, I want to take the boy to the uh, Sydney game. I hope so. Yeah. All right. Oh, that'll be that'll that's be good. interesting. All right, yeah, that's good. That so we've sorted all that. We still believe you're a big plastic supporter. So um, I I actually instead of putting Magpie Manny from now on, you should put Ken. <laughs> you know, like Barbie and Ken, because you're just a plastic supporter. Well, th- thank you. You say that I that I'm uh, good looking. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank you very and you much. Got, and you got no genitals on and the front either when they take down your pants. <laughs> oh, hey, Just hey, flat yeah. surface. You got to be careful with that. Clarkson what? got in trouble. Clarkson you, got in trouble. I need to get in trouble for saying that. And we're going to get on to that. So we're going to get on to that. So what we're going to do now is I hope everyone's having a good time because I'm having a great time. Let's start with this one here. <laughs> Forever footy. All right, so like normal, we are the hard-hitting foursome here, the hard-hitting. So we're going to start with this one here. We're going to start with this one here. Everyone get ready. Has everyone done their research? Let's have a look. Clarko in hot water, Webster facing huge bang, huge bang. Everyone saw what happened. And, um, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it. What do you think about the hit? What do you think about Clarkson? You can start, Quinny. I'll talk about the hit first because I'm actually – I don't. I know around what sort of topic Clarko's comments were, but I haven't heard word for word what he said. So I'll talk about the hit first. But in terms of the hit, I mean, you. I think Jimmy Webster is just going to be smarter than that, doesn't he? I mean, how, many, how much can we talk about the hits off the ball, the high mm. contact, the late contact – I don't know how much more needs to be said for it to sink in. And I reckon that seven weeks he copped is probably right on the money. I reckon anywhere between six to eight would have been all right. So I reckon that seven is smack bang on the money. Um, and I reckon they've just the AFL had to get it out of the way. And that way it sends a message for the rest of the season. Because last year, round two, I think it might have been, round one maybe, Cozzy Pickett did a similar thing to Bailey Smith and he only got yeah. two weeks. So this needed to happen to set the message early. Yeah. Mm. You reckon that's oh. going to change the game? Yeah. You reckon that's honestly going to change the game? Because I don't think it will. Yeah, of course. It, it, it has to change really? because not yeah, of course, so people. Be, but, but yeah, so so I mean, if a play look, I think we spoke about this last year at one stage, guys. That that if a player gets knocked out, it has to be reviewed. All right, because it's not fair to the opposition team where a player's knocked out, he's out for the rest of the game, but that's that player continues to play. So. We've got score reviews. We've got whatever reviews out there. That player needs to be reviewed. The game can still continue to go on. It's not like we have to stop the game, although the player's knocked out anyway, so the game stopped anyway. But I think that it needs to be reviewed. And if it's intentionally that the player's been knocked out by, say, Webster, then that player needs to be sinned. That's all there is to it. If the game is changing... You cannot afford to have players not playing for the rest of the game because somebody's knocked him out. Yeah, I so agree. you have to, you I have agree. to create another punishment. All right, he, he gets his six weeks, he gets his seven weeks, but it's like cricket, it's like you know any other sport. Review it, have a look at it. If it's intentional, which which you know, just a prime example now, the third umpire would have had a look at it and said, mate, that's that's you know, at least four to six weeks. 
he needs to come off the ground because the other team doesn't benefit out of it. The, the, the other player is continuously still playing for, 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 for four quarters. And what if he kicks the winning game, uh, the goal at the end of the game? So, look, it, it's got to change, guys. You know, we're, 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 too, we're too old old school at the moment. Well, Review you know it. what? You say it's old school, but I, I, I want to I wanna say that um, North Melbourne showed so much professionalism and restraint in after the event. Because I can tell you right now, and correct me if I'm wrong, 20 years ago, it would have been an all-in brawl. There would have been jaws bleeding. There would have been broken jaws. The shit would hit the fan, right? But the question here is, how will this all change? And giving that player seven you're weeks, not, you're not gonna you think get, it's going to change it? Managed, That's a callous. Get... It's a callous attack. It was. It, it, it was. A, it was a friendly game. It was absolutely stupid. It's just. It's. It's Manny, just. You're, it's you're no sense. Get, how, how often do you see clashes, and how often do you see the teams belt the shit out of each other like it was twenty years ago? It, it's. 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 It's a hefty fine. The, the players are smart enough now not to do that. I understand what North did by not retaliating and having a massive brawl, but it's not like that anymore, mate. The, the, the players won't. They won't. You don't see that punching on anymore. Fists tonight after after someone gets knocked out. Look, unfortunately, you, you contradicted yourself, Manny. You go, oh, we can't do that, and then will it no, change? That's not, no, I'm not. Yes, what, that's not what I said. I said yes, that the, the I said that the North Melbourne Football Club did a wonderful job in keeping it very professional. But you now, said, will the seven weeks change change the way they play the game? One hundred percent. Because I tell you, you right now, oh, yeah, Tom will tell. Tom will no, tell. Yeah, because the coaches have already said, do you think if you were a coach of your side, right, by doing that, the only thing you've done now is punish your own team? And the coach will 100% say, and they've all come out and said it, right, that is not acceptable in the game. They go in there at the start of the season and the coaches tell them and the umpires tell them exactly what the rules are for that year. Right? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. What about last year? How many times happened about, last year? Yeah, but it, it happens It happens very rare now. You don't yeah. see that anymore. Well, how rare is it going to be, um, Rocco? All you need is for one player to end up getting uh, hit the way he got hit and not get up off the ground at all. But that's why, that's why they're giving him the punishment and that's why the game is changing. Should be more. I, yeah. I think I think that it should have been nah, more than seven weeks. Seven weeks. He didn't it murder someone. It needs to be changed while the game is still in control. So, you know, not for anything. I reckon that player should have been sin bin, and that was it. Because we all knew that it wasn't it, it was intentional. The guy's been knocked out. Why is it, why is that guy still playing on the on, on the ground? It, it doesn't benefit the other team that's been knocked out. You know, like the player that's been knocked out. So if I if I'm a parent that's got kids that want to play the game, I can tell you right now, you'd be thinking twice whether you even think about them going to to to, to play that game. It's absolutely and that, atrocious. And that's why they have to stop it, Manny. And I agree, and they why, have to. And that's why they and that's why they give them these sort of penalties now. Well, I hope I hope I hope but something penalty, does happen. The, the, I hope rock, something the does happen. The penalty doesn't justify the action because. Just a prime example, Brisbane, Collingwood, grand final. Start of the bounce, say Daniel Rich, his last game for the for Brisbane. Runs straight up to Nick Dacos, knocks him out. He, whatever he gets after that really doesn't matter, does it? But the player still continues to play on. Yeah. Or your, your, your premiership player or your, yes. your, your player is out knocked out. The yeah. sim for, two is weeks. A... for two weeks. But the sim bin's a bit like, because then what happens if he gets off? What, what if they notice no, that it's... No, 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 they'll assess it. Well, while the game is still in action, I'm not saying that they have to stop the game, Rock. Just, it, 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 the player's been knocked out. We all know that the player's... Who assesses out. it? Regardless if it's intentional or not intentional, review it, have a look at it, and say, okay, you know what? That player did leave the ground. You know, that would be... Yeah, but who, who, would, who would... It, be, wait a sec, who would assess it? The third umpire. Yeah, you, you look, it's very, oh, I don't think, I, I agree with, um, I agree here with Josh, no, you know, like it just wouldn't happen. It will happen, mate. I'm telling you right now, because a lot, a lot of ex-players now are starting to um, state that there should be some form of sim bin 
required because because of the simple fact is that it doesn't benefit the opposition team. It, it, this is true what Jimmy says. They can't even review a goal, let alone an incident like that. Like it takes them like five minutes to review a goal. Imagine trying to get that one right. I'm but, not saying uh, to stop look, the game, Rock. I'm not saying to stop the game. If, if, if they feel it was intentional, then that they've got you know they've got mics these days. You know, uh, umpire, main umpire. Um, all right, 13, all right. We've got right, to come off. He's on the Well, let's talk about. Well, hang on. Well, well, okay, okay. I agree with what you're saying, Mark. But let's go back last year, Maynard. Yeah, he he would have been sin bin. But then when you look at it, after after the event, he was found that not to be uh, not to be guilty. Yeah. So you know, I agree with Rocco. Maybe you just yeah. some things need to be. You know what? If you do the wrong thing, be prepared to get the uh, the hefty fine. Uh, you'll be off the game. You'll be out of the game for seven, eight weeks, whatever it is. And uh, and hopefully people will learn from it because it's it's just it's just it, it's it's terrible. I mean, I saw it a few times, and and I I thought to myself, wow, this is just it's unacceptable, unacceptable. It, it, it was a it was a cowly act. It was a cowly act. A callous. Because he, uh, he, he went past the ball. There was no need for it. All right, just quickly, yeah. while we're there, we were, we also saw now that now people are calling for Clarkson to get suspended for what he said, you know. I don't think that will happen. Oh, can I just say Mark Robertson on 360, he's got to get off that show. He's lost the plot. He's coming up with ridiculous statements now. What, do you, what does everyone reckon? Now, we all know, so we're not going to say it, what he said. Everyone knows what he said. What, do you what did he think? say? Did he say what did he say? Chili. If chili you, Manny, uh, Manny, I no, didn't know either, no, but if you scroll no, up. No, 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 say, if, yeah, no, no. I didn't know what he said either, but I did notice it got dropped in the comments. And now I know what he said. And if he gets suspended for that, I think it's, yeah, we're, we're taking the turn for the worst. I think he's apologised, said the wrong thing. We move on. I don't think it's as big as it's been, as it's blown up to be. Yeah, That's right. I agree. Right. In the heat yeah, of the moment... In the heat of the moment, you're going to say something. Big deal. Move on. Yeah. Move on. No, no, you can't. These days, you can't say shit like that anymore, mate. It's Why? It's changed. The Why? Game, well, Why the is it changing? Changed. You can't, you can't call somebody something that is, that is not acceptable in the way society is. So, yeah, get a fine for it. Don't suspend him. But it's not acceptable anymore, mate. You can't just call people these names and people that name. Oh, uh, look, in the heat of the moment. He's, he's a professional coach, mate. He's, 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 not, a, he's not an amateur. Yeah, coach. yeah, but you know what? But he's human. Yeah. But he's human. And people matter. seem to forget Look, that. Manny, it's a professional yeah. game, mate. These guys get paid a lot of money to not talk shit like that against other players. He's a coach, mate. All right, it's so he's reasonable. All right, so it's he not... said something. We move on with it, mate. That's no, it. we don't move on because if it's acceptable, then the, 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 it, it, people keep on saying it, okay? So you've got to get onto it now. Give him a hefty fine and move on. I understand that. Oh, well, Mark, you know what? I tell you what. Society, you cannot if you want to if you wanna make, If you want to make money... Go, go to the education department and tell them that you're going to be sitting outside every single schoolyard. You'll have it manned by someone uh, under your wing who's going to be finding every single kid that uses that kind of language. Mate, you know, it happens. You know, it's not as if he, he did it intentionally. He apologised, but in the heat of the moment, Correct. okay. I'm not, saying, okay. I'm not saying that he didn't apologise, but it's not acceptable, Manny. That's the key to it, mate. It's not acceptable. Cop the fine, like Quinn was saying, no suspension. That's that's a bit ridiculous. But yeah. what if you kept on going? What if you kept on swearing and calling him this and calling him that and calling and your mum's this and your dad's that? What? Oh well, you know what? It's 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 acceptable because that's part of part of what the game is. That's bullshit. Yeah, I it's just, not acceptable. I'm gonna put my, and then I want to hear from Quinn if I put my just quick two bob in. Mark's right. You can't say those things. But Manny's right. This world that we live on, that that we live in at the moment, is becoming ridiculous. If people are getting offended by words, then there's something wrong with society, right? Yeah, this is the whole issue. They're just words. Everyone, relax, relax, yeah. and take it easy. But Mark is also correct, right? The professionals, unfortunately, professional. you know, Manny, at work, at our work. Yeah. You would get sacked for saying that word. Yeah. Right? I, would, I wouldn't say that word. No, but I'm saying you would if HR caught on to it, you'd be you'd be in serious trouble. Um look, this is, the world, and this is the world we live on, unfortunately. 
just quickly, Quinny. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Rock. I think both both Manny and Mark, you've both got points that I agree with. Mark, you can't say that shit anymore. It's as simple as that. We can't say it. Um, but, Manny, I do agree with what you're saying and the direction that we're heading at the moment. You, you just do have to be very, very careful. I don't know if I, if I want him being fined. Suspension, I think, is too much. I don't know what. I, I think, obviously, he's apologised. He's recognised he's done the wrong thing. That's good. I'm glad he's recognised it. I'm sure his PR team told him what to say as well. But with that, I was listening to the radio this morning, and I'm not saying I agree with this, so don't shoot me in the comments. But... What do we th- what what do we think about? I spoke about on SEN the potential of Clarko not allowed for two weeks, not allowed to go on the ground to coach his team. He can only coach from the box. So at quarter time, three quarter time, not allowed on, has to stay in the box. I don't love it, but it was a suggestion that got thrown up, and I wouldn't be a bad talking point. I that, I, I think that would be ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would, no, that, that's too much for me as well. Hit, hit it's fine, mate. Hefty fine, and that's it. Hefty fine. Not, oh, not a, to take the truth, Mark, I reckon no fine. There doesn't need to be a fine. There doesn't no, need I'm, to be a fine. I'm with Peter Blueback in here. Peter. He's apologised. No, he's he's apologised. Move on. Hey, look, like you said, Mark, if he had it carried on and kept saying more and more and more, then okay, well, then we fine him, we suspend him, whatever. He said the one comment, it was bad. We all agree with that. We're not. None of us here say that what he said was fine. You can't say it anymore. It's the way we are. But yeah, I think we move on. He's a professional coach, mate. He's been there long enough to not to... to but he's to, like, also a human, man. Like, seriously, know, mate, everyone, just relax, It's the AFL, mate. Rock. It's the AFL, mate. We're not, we're we, not, all we all live in glass houses here. We all live in glass houses, mate. You know, like, relax, everyone. Come on. He's a good guy, man. He, he's just a I patient. Know that. Like, mate, I don't want to be rude. I'm sure we've all used that word. Right, we've all used that word one way or another. So let's all right. I think we've we've um exhausted that conversation, I think. Yeah, uh, let's have a look at A. We'll just have a quick <clears throat> about well, this is a bit to do with Manny too. Let's go for this one. Star Demon, shocking retirement. Which was a bit of a shock when it happened that he did retire, but I also understand. Why you know he's got to think about his future, man. You keep getting knocked in the head, and that that actually goes back to the Webster thing, man. You're doing that sort of stuff. Players will end up not be able to play anymore. I think the one thing we're going to be careful about as well is not only will they not be able to play anymore, like we've seen with Brayshaw, but later on in life they're not going to be able to function properly anymore either. And that's when that you know the, it kicks in later. I know we're all aware of that, but I think that's the scariest part about all this and yeah to see Brayshaw retire at such a young age what is he 27 28 whatever he was he still had five six years of footy left in him bloody and a bloody good player man oh a star a star he was was he top three in the brown low one year i think he he was yeah he was a great player um yeah 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 exactly right you cop that many knocks to the head it's it's bound to happen. It was just um yeah, it was an unlucky it was unlucky, really, all those all those incidents caught up with him. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. So I don't think there's much more to say about that, but it is uh, a sad well, to maybe, say that maybe 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 he just wanted to get out. Not, not not for anything, but maybe he just wanted to get out because maybe there's a few little issues there at Melbourne at the moment with the uh the drugs and the uh Oliver and he's probably thinking, Fuck, I'm gonna get out while I can, I'll retire now. Yeah. It could it's be, weird. and I know you're probably saying that a bit of tongue and cheek, but yeah, there, there is a few issues there, and there is a few issues get, there. You're trying, to move, the, you're trying to move the drug uh, situation from the bombers uh, to Melbourne. Don't That's where you're mate. trying to move it from. Move your, your it from uh, the just, bombers just to Melbourne. Bad, mate. Your hey, can I ask you a question, Mark? If you made Brayshaw like a helmet out of your security core tech, make sure you get in contact with him for ten percent. Listen, I don't sell myself here, but I'm just telling you, right, if you go and see him, you'll get 10% off. But if you make him one out of that, will he be protected? Hey, he'll be protected, but he probably won't be able to run. <laughs> no, that's all right. That's all we want, mate. We, we've got an idea. Unless, we're unless, gonna... unless, unless we're going back into the Stone Age again, where, you know, like, they were in the whole fucking uh, Spartacuses. <laughs> All right. Uh, leave, leave the Greeks alone, mate. Leave the Greeks alone. 
Hey, quickly, quickly, quickly. I've got, I've got a joke. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a joke once a week for each of our rivals. Yeah. So this yeah. one's dedicated to Rocco. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Starting off strong. Knock, he's written knock. him down. He's written him down. He's, he's prepared this year. I like it. Knock, Who, knock. Who's there? Who's answering it? Oh, it's for Rocco. Rock. You go, you yeah, go Rocco. Rock. You go. Oh, knock, knock. Who's there? Carlton. Carlton who? That's my point. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dickhead. <laughs> hey, can I just show you something? Make Ready sure you, this week. Make sure you get get onto our merch. This is our newest top, the Wolf. What was that? Is that the, well, that's a Carlton top, is it? The Wolf, Adam Saad. Everyone get into yeah, if, that. If I grew my beard out, that could be me. That could, could be, well, yeah. that, that could exactly be me. So, That's right. so, yeah, everyone get on. I don't want to make plugs, but there's one right there. All right, let's go quickly on to this last one. Taron Thomas sacked from North Melbourne after AFL hands down an 18-week suspension. Mm. Now, I think. All right, go for it, Quinny. I reckon you you can start this one off. Sorry, mate. I was going to say, I think for the first time in my life, I actually agree with something Kane Corns had to say about this. I don't know how many chances <laughs> he had to get before he was going to pull his head in. He's mistake after mistake. He's had training. They sent him for education. He comes back and he does the same thing over and over again. He's going to be a wasted talent. We've seen plenty of them, and I just I can't. I can't see him getting any better at this point. So I hope he does for his sake and for everyone else that he surrounds himself with. But, yeah, I think he, he, the 18 weeks is deserved, I reckon. And he, got, I and, and he got sacked by the club, you know. It wasn't just the 18 weeks and now he's got he's yeah. lost his contract, you know. And he was a high draft pick and a good player. Look, at the end of the day, this is, again, coming down to society. It's the world we live in now. Um, and they get plenty of media training plenty of media training before they start. As soon as they go to the club, they get media people in there speaking to them about their social media, about what they do, how they got to, how they got to present themselves, all of that, right? So at the end of the day, for me, there's no excuses, right? If you get caught out and you, and you get caught doing and we all kind of know what he did, right, your fault. Your fault. Yeah. Unfortunately, you're young. Hopefully yeah. you learn yeah. from that. And you can come back in, I don't know, in, in some way, but just become a better person. Oh, man, I'm sounding too nice here. This is no good. <laughs> so you sound like a father. <laughs> and, you, and you're right. You're, and, right. Um, you're exactly right. Say, Spot on, uh, Rock. Spot on, Quinn. Let's say good riddance, yeah. So pretty much like, again, man, like, what do you want me to do, man? I've got my own issues in life, man. If you can't even control that, like, at the end of the day, as I said, there's plenty of media training. I'm telling you, they get bombarded. They get bombarded in exactly what to do, what to say. You can tell it in there when they do their press conferences or when they get spoken to. It's yeah. just the reverse. They know exactly what to say. You know what I mean? So what are you doing? So, <clears throat> all right. It's sad. It's very, very sad. Hey, Michael, did I, did I tell you that I ended up, uh, a friend of mine gave me one of these as a gift. I just thought I'd let you know, buddy. That's all. Just hey, that's a reference to 2023. No, 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 no. You got a collection? No, no. Collection? <laughs> I told you, man, as soon as you talk about it, I'm going to take you off. So, unfortunately, now when I put him in, he's going to go in a different position where he should be at the bottom, right? Now. Hey, I'm I don't like it. I don't feel comfortable. I'm at the fucking bottom. What are you talking about? Hey, hey, listen, Mark likes being on the bottom. I like being on top. You started at the top. I told you. I gave you warning. I mean, this, is like, this is I like this is like Harry Thomas, man. I gave you warning. I gave I you me training before. But I didn't say anything. Yeah, you showed. What what was that? What was that you showed? Now be careful what you say because I'll take you back off again. It, it was it was it was a it was a gift that was given to me, and, and I was, was meant to. That? It was many. I was meant to let Mark know, and then I just saw it. and I thought, oh, I might as well just show. Mark. And what was on there? Oh no, it was it just basically it's got a uh, 
a sticker of the uh, the Collingwood uh, Football Club. That's all it had. Uh, oh, look, it? Uh, oh, look, you know what? I just realised. Rocco, I apologise. I didn't realise it's actually got the uh, the Premier's flag on. There. Oh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> I'm telling you, he like, was... I'm telling you, all year I'm going to do this. All bloody year. Oh, oh. Back, Aaron you, Thomas. you know, I, I'm going to treat you like a dog. You know, like a dog. Every time you do something wrong, I'm going to beat you until you learn. No, I don't beat my dogs. I'm not going to give you a snack. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. As, You're as long as you can rub my tummy, I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. All right, hey, what we're going to do now is we're here to talk about our clubs. So what we're going to do is I've set up some slides here. I reckon we start off with Manny because that's the first one I happen to have here. We're going to talk about the ins and outs, the changes, the off-season, uh, what you think. Let's just talk about our club. He, do you know what's going on? Do you know the ins and outs, Manny? Well, I do know that we've got a number of injuries at the moment. We're waiting on... No, 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 no. Who did you, let's start with who did you pick up? Who did you get rid of at the end of the year? Oh, we picked up actually a couple of um, picked up a couple of good players, um, but one of the uh, the ones that uh, I think is going to be a huge, huge, uh, uh, going to play a huge role on the team this year, and that's uh, Lockie Schultz from uh, Fremantle. So um, he's he's and definitely about, one player. What about draft picks? Who did you pick up? Do you know any? Uh, yeah, we picked up uh, Harry uh, Harry Di Mattia. Uh, we picked up. Uh, to oh, Gieth, I'm gonna uh, help Lockwood you out. Sullivan. Stop, stop looking at your Josh, crap. Right? Josh here, here and, uh, here, and Will go, here we go. Collingwood, you can go yeah, from yeah. you got Dimit here, was pick 25. Yeah. You got these blokes here, and as you said, you got the lucky, lucky Schultz, Schultz. <laughs> and then, um, and your outs were well, can yeah. you see that? Yeah, yeah, Taylor Adams is out, uh, Bianco's out, Alo Draper's out, uh, Ginevan. You know, they, they, that's there. We all know about that. That's fine. So he's no, well, not. No, no, Manny. People are Come tuning on. in because some people don't know about it. You can't assume people know about it. This is why I put this up. Your Ginevan went to Hawthorne. Kelly delisted. You got uh, Tom Wilson delisted. What's that? Russ, Rusco, Rusco delisted. And Taylor yeah. Adams went to Sydney. He was the other yeah. big one. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. T Taylor Adams was a um, was a, a big big star to leave the club, but uh, that was his choice. Um, you know, he I think he missed out on playing the grand final. Uh, he took things to heart. Uh, I don't know what to say, but uh, he's gone uh, to join the the Swans with uh, one of our ex uh, players that went to uh, to Melbourne. And now he's gone to Sydney. What's his name? That the one, that, the ruck player, uh, ex ruckman for Collingwood. I don't know. It's your team. Oh, no, no, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't mention uh, Collingwood rejects. So it is what it is. Well, then why do you mention any player if you don't mention Collingwood rejects? <laughs> oh, come aren't on, they man. all rejects. Come anyway, on, because you're talking about Grundy, just say that you don't remember his name, right? First of all, let's go back to Jimmy in the sin bin. He doesn't learn. That's we're talking about you, mate. We're talking about you. Everyone's having a good laugh. So I, I, I'm hanging out for you to mention your shit side uh, in the 2023. No, that's it. I already told you about 2023. What about 2024? It? Well, it's a, it's a new season now, Rocco. We're moving on. We're moving on. What happened in I'm 2020? Just, I'm just what happened in 2023? That, I'm hoping that you can move on. What happened in 2023? I'm hoping you can move on. See. Like a dog. Well played, Manny. <laughs> well played, Manny. All right. So anyway, just before we get off your shit side, which seriously, unbelievably. Awesome. That's all it says. It says that we're awesome. Does yeah? it say nothing about the premiership? Can anyone read nothing, that? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing to do with the premiership. All nothing right. to do with the premiership. It's got nothing to do with the 2023 premiership, okay? You shouldn't have said 2023 premiership, man. Like, what are you doing, mate? Like, what are you doing, mate? I'm telling you, like, how long should we keep him off? What are you? What is wrong with you? All right, let's go. <laughs> quickly, quickly, let's go. 
Any injuries coming into this week? And we will get to this week's games. Any injuries? Well, at the moment there, uh, which uh, which was a very, very big surprise for me, but Scott Pittlebury at the moment, uh, he's got... Uh, He's under assessment. Uh, he's going to knock on the uh, back of the knee, the hamstring there. Uh, Jeremy Howe's definitely going to miss out this week. Uh, so they're two of the big uh, big stars that are going to miss out uh, for this week. And, of course, uh, got a lot of the young players who, uh, who are still uh, <coughs> under review. But um, McStay, he's still got problems with his ACL. So we've got uh, three big, big names that uh, will uh, not be playing this week. Hey, can I just in the in the comments here? Can we just has Manny been actually like studying up? Has everyone noticed? He's I can see he's got notes and he's and he's actually getting names right and and what's going on, Manny? We've we've made you a better person, mate. We've made you a better person. Admit it. Hey, hey, Frankie wants to know about my membership because he he's just come in on, onto the show. Uh, Frankie, uh, just to let you know, mate. The membership has already been purchased, uh, and of course, uh, it sh we should be getting it this week in the mail. So I'll be very wearing it very, very proudly. And uh, and Pen Pendlebury who? Yeah, that's right, Pendlebury who? Um, but uh, yeah, just to let you know, Frankie, that the membership is coming, my friend. It is coming. Is this true? Uh, you know, my son is, I would say, the number one supporter of the Forever Rivals. All right, so let's, let's give him let's give him a shout out. Give him a shout out. Yeah, a shout out to uh, Alec. Uh, he uh, loves his uh, magpies, um, and um, I'm not going to say anything about last year. Loves his magpies, and um, you know he's always always there. To say hey, Dad. You know this is what I've just found out. This is what's going on. So it's fantastic. It keeps me updated, and you know, and it and it's great because it, it he feels that he's part of the team. So. You know, I'll uh, I'll bring him on one day, and he can say hello. Yeah. I was going to say you're more than welcome. Bring him on. Unfortunately, you both can't be on because your head takes up much most of the screen. So you, well, you, no, would, no, have, you would have to come small, off. Yeah, no, no, he's, he's got a smaller head than me. No, I know he's, he's got a smaller head, yeah, but yours just takes up three or four people. Yeah, you're right, and he and he's and he's better looking than me. I hope he is, mate. Because seriously. <laughs> I can't see him going through life if he looks like you, mate. So, anyway, let's get back to uh, – all right, so is that it about your shit side? Hey, that's a red card. How could you say something like that to me? That, you, know, you, you just hurt my feelings. <laughs> what makes you any different? I, what makes you I any different? Held back. I held back. <laughs> all right, listen. <laughs> listen. Listen, dude. Let's I'm go listening. to the next one. Let's go to the next one. This is all for you, Marco. Brought to you by Corten. Oh, mate, have you got the big security gates right around, right around? What is it? What is it? Like, where are you at the airport? We're well, like, where are you? Where are you? Where, where do you train on the tarmac? Like, I don't get it. Like, where are you? Uh, we're at the hangar, mate. Mel, Mel oh, the hangar. Hangar. That's right. Hanging out. Hanging out. All right. Let us know what's going on, Marco. Okay, well, obviously, um, Caddy, Caddy, um, yeah, draft pick there. I think he's going to be an absolutely fantastic superstar for this football club. Sinhar Ford, um, obviously, he's come down for a bit of an injury, but um, he's going to be a gun for us. Um, through 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 the trade, it was good to see that we, uh, you know, grabbed a, a couple of um, experienced players. Um, obviously, McKay uh, from North Melbourne. So how much are you paying McKay? I just want to know how much you're paying McKay. You know he's the uh, highest player this year. Yeah, well, we're paying him eight hundred thousand a year, which is which is yeah, which but he's front ended. I think it's about one point five for this year. Is he? Oh, okay, then. Well, that, that, that's that's got me a little bit surprised. But look, I reckon, I reckon, regardless of what he's getting paid, we've got the money. Essendon's got the money, so it doesn't matter about the money at the moment. Of course, with all those supplements you sold, of course you got the money. It's it's all it's all about the players, yeah. So so I think I think you, I, I think honestly, being at a, at a, a, a stronger club than the North, I think I think you'll strengthen our back line. So hopefully he does well this year. Um, and what about anyone else there that that just yeah, quickly? Yeah, just Gresham quickly um, from Secura, you know, more a bit of an experienced player. I think I think it'd be a very handy um, 
Henry Clare going forward and also through the midfield. Um, Dersma from uh, from Port, young player. I hope he can start bringing out the bow and arrow more often. Uh, if that's the case, we'll, we'll see a few more goals through him. And, um, you, know, you know, Goldstein obviously is 30, 30, uh, 35 year old or 34 year old. Uh, you you realise he's the only um, left hand tap ruckman in the league. Left hand uh, tap ruckman. So, so through his experience, uh, I think it'd be, I think it'd be great for uh, Draper and, and Brian. Um, and just quickly, any of these players don't name them all, but any of these players spewing that 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 have left or retired or anyone? No, nah, just because obviously Sir Thatcher's gone to Port. Um, probably no big, big loss there. Um, one player that we did listen was um, Patrick Ambrose, which I felt watching him in the reserves. Um, he looked like a bit of a um, Jonathan Brown type. Um, very strong, you know, uh, strong strong player. And, um, yeah, he, he got delisted and Freo picked him up. So it wouldn't surprise me uh, at Essendon that um, we'll end up playing Freo and he'll kick fucking five or six goals against us. Hey, um, hey Mark, that, that team uh, that you – that shit team that you barrack for, um, the way you guys finished last year – Let's be fair, yeah, because I, I don't know if you remember, because you were making yourself look pretty pretty ordinary when you were sitting there saying that uh, you narrowly missed out playing finals football. You got hard done by Collingwood the last game. And, of course, you know what happened with the Magpies. But my question here is this. What changes are, do you believe are going to be able to happen for your team to be able to even play to play finals football because right now you, you guys you guys have probably got maybe a ten year plan if you're lucky. No, because, not ten years. Oh, no one mate, years. Mate, I, I mean, you guys I mean, look. I mean, you guys I mean, look, I mean, look I mean, shit. Look, I think, there was a comment there, I think there was a comment there about Essendon being very close to what Geelong's been doing, and that's what I think that's what they've done. They've recruited some older players just filling those positions, and Geelong's been doing it for a long bloody time. Not like Collingwood or Carlton, or not even Richmond. So, so maybe, maybe with, with the new coach, Scott, he's getting a little bit of uh, information about it with his brother and, 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 and they're recruiting some, some, you know, mature head players to fill in those positions with the young guys and, right. and, and it could make a difference this year, yeah? But, yeah, yeah may, saying what you're saying, towards the end of last year, I was really disappointed by the way they finished. It's not acceptable, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's a game of football and we can only keep on supporting it. But the peptides, the peptides can only last for so long. The peptides can only last for so long. John Holden makes it. He's a great supporter of the channel. The best retirement listing for Essen has to has gone to be. Yeah, has to, as he wrote, has to be the Dorio. The Dorio. Correct. Correct. And yeah. that's, and You're great. Right. He's been there too long, mate. Been there way too long. Hey, yeah, Rocco. That's probably the right choice. Rocco. The so, Dorio. Hey, the Dorio. Is it the Dorio? Yeah, you're turning the black into Italian. Yeah, <laughs> Sp- well, spaghetti well, bolognese. Everyone wants to be Italian, mate. What can I say? You're right, the Doro. The Doro. He's been there, what? He's been there longer than bloody Sheedy was. Yeah, mate, the Doro right. must have had something. He's got something on the club for them to keep him around that long with a shit list, never made finals in 20 years. He's got something on the club if he's kept his job that long, let me tell well, you. I mean, he knows well, something. You can't, you can't, you can't look. I mean, think for the. For the yeah, for twenty odd years, you'd have to be doing something right, mate. You go, geez, I think it was just more, you know, what's happened with the drug saga and and all that kind of stuff is just held. It's held the Essendon Football Club back a good ten years, and it's been ten years now since I think ten years now since it's all happened, and we've been patient. And I think this year we're going to see some different changes, um, and 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 I think we're going to go forward from here onwards. I, I think Brandon here has been a bit generous. Putting you 14th, so so I don't know what's going on there. Oh, we'll, make, we'll make the eight this year. We'll make the eight. Hey, we've got one more player before we move on that we have to know about. How's this player going to go for the year? <laughs> Westerfield. <laughs> yeah, I've watched a couple of uh, the practice games. He looks all right, but uh, <laughs> I think not. I don't think it's. The, I don't think it's a Westerfield. It is a Settlefield. It is a Settlefield. Well, we know, mate. Yeah. We, we've renamed him Westerfield, mate. We've oh, renamed I know, him. Bombers have got a brand new team. Ay, 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 ay. With a right, snip, snip, snip here and a 
Sniff, sniff there. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, they, they, those pies, mate. Those pies, don't worry. Let's go, Quinny, to the mighty oh. Beatles. Finally. Finally, we're talking hey, some Quinny, sense now. All right. Hey, Quinny, All right. Quinny, can you just turn down the mic a little bit? Have yeah. you got a volume there? Yeah, is that better? Yeah, yeah that's, just, that's better. That's you're better. peeking out a little bit. So go for it. Uh, I got excited. Sorry. No, no, a bit higher now, a bit higher, a bit higher. I got excited. Is that better? <laughs> that's lower, better. Bit lower. Just a touch lower, just a touch. You guys just, are killing me. I'm going to Perfect. Perfect. Go for it. A little bit lower, Quinn. A little bit lower. That's <laughs> no, no, that's good. That's, that's good. That's the spot. That's the spot. <laughs> I'm getting out of here soon, Mark. You keep that shit up, all right? I'm getting out of here. All right, let's talk about the Tigers. Let's talk about what we're all here for. Look, this is the first year I've come into the footy with absolutely zero expectation, and I think that's exactly what we need as a football club. Just no pressure. Just come in, get the job done. Um, obviously, some big outs with some, you know, champions in Cochin and Rewalt. Um, Castagna retired early in the season. Biggie Newman got traded to North. Solo left, went to Port Adelaide. I think that's the right choice for him, but... I'm happy with the ins that we've brought in. I think I'm real happy with the ins that we've brought in. Naismith is really impressed in my, his first two games that I've seen him play. He was dominating down at Port, uh, Port Melbourne there in the VFL, and he's come in and done a really good job. Um, Kane McAuliffe and Liam Fawcett are two draft picks. Kane McAuliffe, big-bodied midfielder, looking very good. Liam Fawcett, a forward, they always take that little bit longer to develop, so I haven't seen a lot of him just yet. <laughs> Got to keep a closer eye on the VFL boys, but... Cozzy will hopefully fill a role in that forward line for us uh, when uh, Tom Lynch comes back into the side. Hopefully a, a good one-two duo potentially there with Noah Bolter by his side. Um, who else have I missed? Who have I missed? And then the, the story, the story of the week or the fortnight, I should say, it was a couple of weeks ago now, but McKelty LeFou there, uh, Richmond picked him up in the supplementary period and he looks like he's going to be a pretty solid player. He's, he's built... Um, he's the same height as Jack Rewalt. He's built like a big shit house, and he likes to fend off like Dustin Martin. So I'm excited for what we're going to see from him. I like it. Now, mm. that's what I call a report. You that's like why it. everyone wants like to tune into the Tiger thing, mate. Everyone get onto the Tiger thing. I if you want to know about the Tigers. not one second player that you just said, Quinn. Not one player that you mentioned. I didn't even know who they were. Mark. That just shows your uneducation for the game of football, man. Oh, really? So I agree. They, I agree. Mark, I agree they, didn't, it's a bit they didn't go any. They didn't go and recruit. Um, they didn't go and recruit like known players like you did. You're trying to up your list, right? Which I think it's the wrong thing for you guys. But they didn't do that. They went in a different direction. So of course you're not going to know their players. They, they're young. Like, what did you want? To but before you go, before to, to you go, no $14.99, back for a big one this so, year. So, Quinn, so, Quinn, so, Quinn, so, Quinn, so, Quinn, you're so a star. You, you guys are expecting to finish top eight or? No. No. If we're being realistic, no. I think we can. I don't think we will. Okay. So, you're just going to be happy to just sit around... 10th, 11th, 12th for the next four or five years. No, fuck no. I won't be happy with that at all. I'll be devastated we don't make finals this year. I don't think we will. It doesn't mean I'll be happy about it. Absolutely not. I don't think we'll be out that long, though. I reckon the list we've got, we've got some youth. They're looking all right. I don't think we'll be out as long as everyone thinks we will. And I definitely don't think we're finishing as low as some people have us in the bottom three there. I don't think we'll be that low. I reckon we'll be a lot better than people think. Good Come night, on, night. Mark. I'm going to defend Quinn here, right? Mate, mate, it's, it's, it's fucking, it's forever rivals here. No, nah, but I'm going to defend him here because you talk like a load of rubbish. Sometimes teams just have to rebuild. Use it. You guys, right, are trying to do the quick r ride up the ladder. I'm telling you, it's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt you, mate. Wednesday. It's going to hurt you because you, 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 you really recruited a bunch of has-beens, mate. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, 100%. Christian, West Bills, they're a bunch of has-beens. And as I said, 14th is actually way too high for you. Okay. Now, Rock, right, I, I don't... don't we'll just, we'll just, we'll just we'll 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 Sorry, I was going to say, oh, let's first talk about Seba. He's given us $7.99 and he's... And he's uh, 
Comment there, Quinny is the goat, and he is. That's Thank you very much, Trevor. Just, just bring yeah, on, bring on, hey, bring calm, on, bring calm, on um, calm down, calm down. Rocco, calm bring down. on Calm's review. Just calm down. What rejects you got on calm your list that you brought yeah, on? Yeah, hang on, hang on, oh, hang on. Right. Right. Mark, I just can't wait for the two. Rocco, Rocco, Rocco. Can I just let speak? Me, to, can I speak to Mark for a second? Let me, let me, let me just say one thing. For a second, no. Well, Mark, what you're saying doesn't make sense. All right, listen, Mark. Right. All I'm saying is, I can't wait. For the McKay boys to line up on each other, that's wow, going to be gonna fantastic. That's going to be fantastic, right? We'll have a bet. We'll have a bet on that one, mate. We'll have a bet oh, hundred percent, man. That's going to be the big one, the McKay boys. All right, now I'm going to teach you something. If you want me to teach you the way I teach my dog, do not speak over everybody. Right? Wait your turn. I'm not loud enough to speak over everybody. You're the well, loudest then, one in here. Well, then wait. Yeah, all I was going to say to your defence is that that your your club did an amazing job last year, and potentially they could have played grand final football, right? But that's a huge improvement. Now the bombers, I mean, seriously, Mark, if I if I were you, I'd really I'd be really considering, uh, you know. Do I really want to follow this team? Because no good sitting there following a team. Because you guys have got no future, man. I'm talking at least. I, I reckon your grandkids aren't going to see uh, aren't going to see a premiership. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Quinn, he, he can sit back and relax now because mate, they've, done what, they've done what they had to do. They've done what they had to do. What did you? What did, what did happen? Don't don't catch your chickens before before they hatch, mate. Because uh, just because you won the grand final. We, Maybe we, Collingwood uh, might struggle this year. Hey, yeah. hey, can I say something? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You'd you love to. Have, have, you would have you loved to win the, win the grand yourself. final. Hey, you would have loved to win the grand final and and finish last this year. It doesn't matter. But thank you for bringing that up, uh, Mark. You're almost, almost. <laughs> you, did <the> thing. <laughs> well, you did well, Manny. You did well. You did well. Hey, Lisa, can I just say, people that come on the comments, if you change your name, right, so then I can put you on there. I know who you are. You're not coming on. All right. We're going to go. We, uh, so, <laughs> so tell me something, Quinny. What's happening with injuries and, and – um, uh, going into this first game, yeah, we, will right, so talk, the, the, we will talk about the game soon, but just quickly on injuries and that. Yeah, yeah, the, the quick ones, the two main ones are Tom Lynch and Toby Nankervis will miss the opening round. Um, they're expected back for round one, and Dustin Martin is um, is a bit touch and go at the moment. He's got a sore calf. He got all he got all cleared with the scans, but they're not sure if they're going to play him yet. So. He's a watch. And then um, other blokes like Ryan Mansell, Jack Graham, and Liam Fawcett as well are also on the injury list. But, yeah, probably Lynch, Nank, and then Dusty, if he misses, are probably the big ones. A few injuries. I like it. I like it. And we got what, – what's I think Seba's giving up his whole paycheck this week, right? Hey, what's everyone else doing, mate? Don't leave it all up to Seba. So, fact, Seba, he's guessing that Manny still doesn't have a membership. Well, I'm Seba, don't be like that. Don't be like that, Seba. Don't be like that, mate. Come on. I told you. Next week, if I get, as soon as I get it, as soon as I get it, I'm going to wear it proudly. All right? Now, I don't know whether it's going to have on it, uh, you know, about, but, yeah. What do you reckon, <laughs> what do you reckon Queenie? Slim Dusty should. Oh, I don't know. Clearly, Jason Badger didn't watch Dusty's season last year. If he thinks he should have retired, he, he had an unreal season. So I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to get into that one. Nah, he, he's not riding. All right, let's talk yeah, about the biting. mighty blues. Now, let's talk about the mighty blues. So we had a kind of a, or I would say an indifferent kind of a, um, a you know, a pre-season, um, off-season. We uh, Matt Carroll. Jumped onto the rookie draft. We got, we got Fantasia. We got Fantasia. The list of free agent. We got Elijah Hollands, which is uh, um, Hollands. Uh, I forget his. I forget his name. Who's who's our other Hollands? Anyway, uh, his brother. We got Moya. He was our pick twenty nine. 
um, oh, this Monaghan, he's a rookie. And Billy Wilson, I think, will be a good player. And Moya has got big raps on him, but I I don't think they'll get a game this year. Maybe one or two, but they're in the development. We got rid of Ed Kerno, who retired. Paddy Dow off to St Kilda. Zach Fisher, 36 possessions with North Melbourne over the weekend. Uh, Honey delisted, just could never get it. O'Brien, big, big disappointment. Pick 10, just never worked out. Phelps, never just got to go. And Plowman, the much maligned Plowman, eventually retired and now he's playing in the country. Uh, what do we got here for comments? So all I could say is about the Blues, we just picked up a few. Hollands we picked up, I think, is going to be a decent player. Um, I think Fantasia... I, I just don't know. I don't know what – sorry, Fantasia. That's that's how you pronounce it, Fantasia. I'm not going to call him Fantasia. Fantasia. So I think Fantasia, if he has a good season, will make a big difference to us. I just don't know what we're going to get out of him. I'm hoping you're going to get eight to ten possessions a game, put the pressure on, maybe score two goals a game. That's all you want from the kid. He'll definitely be playing this week. Um, we've got a few injuries, so he'll definitely going to get his go this week. What I saw in the in the in the practice game, first half was okay, drifted out. So we'll see how he goes. As far as injuries go, you know you've heard it all. Weedering's out until the bye. That's good for you, uh, Quinny. Uh, Walsh is out till the bye. Motlop did a toe, so he'll be out this game. Martin will be out for this game. Uh, who else? I think we've got... Oh, and the good news is Zachy Williams comes back after nearly two seasons and he'll be definitely playing. So good on him, mate, to come back. He had a tough year last year. Not only did the, did the 12 months, he also lost his sister. So he had a tough year. So to come back, um, Voss was saying, when when they're flying over in the plane, just sit back and um, just just think about where you came from, and and you'll be back playing. So it'd be good seeing Zachy Williams uh, running off the back line there, um, and that's it. That's 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 uh, that's that's the good blues. You, and we'll just see we'll see what happens, mate. We'll see what happens. I see uh, that we've got a couple of new uh, new people that are uh, on our show, watching our show, Rocco. There we've got flag pies. 2023. No, you can't mention him because that's the guy who's changed his name so he can get his name on there. What the hell? So I thought that was no, a burner account. No, no, no. I yes, think you're. I think you're. Um, you're. You're, you're assuming. No, 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 no. I know exactly who that is, and I told him from last year he's banned from the show. Rocco, I think. I think you're making a mistake, mate. No, I I'm think not. You're, you know you're guessing. You know Do you know who that is? No. I've got no so idea. Then why are you talking? I decide. Yeah. You want to do it, you take the control. I have a very good idea who it might be. I know exactly who it is, and he's changed his name a couple of times, and he's and he writes me messages, right, so the bloke can get stuffed. <laughs> I know who it is, too. I know who it is. knows who it is. He's a big sook. He came on last year. When the pie started losing, he disappeared and high and held it. And hide is hide it? Has, what is it? He, yeah. he, he went and hid. He went and hid in his dungeon. He played uh, Dungeons and Bloody Warlocks with all his with people face friends. And then when they started winning at the end, he came back. I can't have that. I can't have that. You've got to put yourself weak. Hang on, that's hang on, why, hang on, hang on. Why, why, is, why are you talking about last year? We said we're not going to talk about last year. No, I said you're not talking about it. I can do whatever <laughs> I want. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. It, that's 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 double standards, uh, Rocker. Yeah, I don't care. I run well, the country. Well, well, well listen, I that's run irrelevant. It. You don't like it, you can that's leave. It. Mate, listen, 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 I know, I know, I know you've, uh, you feel that it's okay to sit there and I know you're, you're the star of the show and everybody loves you, mate. And we want, we, we want well, you to be, we want you to be loved. You're the star of the show, haven't you? What's that, mate? You've been walking around work saying you're the star of the show. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. I don't, I don't, know. I don't it's not my, it's not my character. It's not my personality, mate. No, it is. That's, but first anyway, and foremost, first and foremost, I always say that uh, I say, "Hey guys, make sure you get on board and watch the show 
and everybody keeps on saying to me, is that clown going to be on this year? And I always no, say, no, hey, say that's his show. That's his show. On, you say, I've heard you, you say, everyone get on the show and watch me. That's what you say. No, never. You no. do. Anyway, no. this no. uh, this F person, uh, can you get off because you're really clogging up the, the comments and you're making me a little bit sick and I'm about to spew up. All right. So here we go. Let's do this. What are we doing? Ah, all right. So this week, apart from Essendon, because Essendon aren't good enough to play in, in opening round, right? Mm. You guys need to buy. You guys will need to buy. Let's go. This is the opening round. Let's get into it. The first. Oh, Quinny. Mate, this has always been yours. So let's do this. All righty. We start off. Sydney versus the D's. Tomorrow night, guys, footy is back. Tomorrow night at the SCG. And I reckon that's a great clash because it's a pretty neutral game for all of us, especially. No, 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 no two. We're not, can't even speak. We're not too invested in this one. So it's a good one to kick back, watch on a Thursday night. And I reckon the Swans are going to take this one. Yes, I I agree. I, I actually we'll do the we'll do quickly the tips now while while we're here, yeah. right? And um, so we can get this over and done with. So yeah, all right, Quinny. First game is Sydney. All right. And then the I, next um, one. Oh yeah, sorry, we'll all go. Sorry, through. guys. Wait, wait. Sorry, Before guys. you do that, just Quinny, just go through the game so I can take this off. Go. All right, done, done, done. All right, so second up at the Gabba, Rocco, your Blues take on the Brisbane Lions. Absolute nightmares for you guys with prelim flashbacks there. At the Gabba, Friday night, 6.50 p.m. We then roll on to Saturday afternoon, 3.20. Dimmer Hardwick takes on his Tigers, or his old Tigers, I should say, Heritage Bank Stadium. And then on Sunday, Manny, your boys roll out against the Giants. There's already been a social media battle back and forth between the two of them, so it's shaping up to be a great match on Saturday night. Perfect. I love it. I love it. All right. All right. What are we got? We've got D, Sydney. Look at this. We've got... Um, can, we've I, got can, can I just ask a question for... Um, now, this is obviously... Um, they're calling it the opening round or the zero round. Yeah, um, I, think it's, I think it's... What's it all round? about? What's that? What? What? Why all of a sudden? Let's just give, let's just give some um some tips and then we can move on to it. Uh, you said Sydney. I'm yeah. going to go Sydney also. <clears throat> Mark well, or yeah, Manny. it's going to be a, a cracker cracker week this week, mate. Uh, but I'm going to go Melbourne by 11 points this week. Ah, I like it. Yeah, no, I think. Um, Sydney have a lot to prove uh, with all these big uh, stars that have gone up there. So, yeah, my money's on Sydney. All right. Let's go. Next one, Carlton and Brisbane at the Gabba. I'll be there. Let's go. Uh, Brisbane. Brisbane. I'll yeah. just put Brisbane for all of you because you are all a bunch of dogs. Brisbane, I reckon Brisbane will win the flag this year. So, I'll yeah, got- Brisbane against Carlton. Yeah. By fifty three points, they'll 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 destroy you this week, mate. I'm sorry, Rock. Um, but I'm never but I, hope, I hope you enjoy the, the the week at the Brisbane, mate. Good weather for it, mate. At least, at least I go and support my side, and don't hide behind my security door. Hey, um, <laughs> which you can get ten percent off if you drop our names. <laughs> but you get ten percent off if you go down to court. Then. <laughs> can I can I say that um, I um. I only watched one game that Carlton played preseason. That was against uh, Melbourne, and um, there were some not, some really good glimpses of uh, Carlton. But um, I, I think uh, Brisbane will just get over the line with this one. We got some things. Brisbane will drop out of the four. We got a few things. Yeah, I think. Look, at the end of the day, I'm not going to go against Carlton. I'll tell you right now. So I'm just going to do 22 times Carlton. I just I can't do it. I don't care about it. I'm still going to win the footy tips. Oh, by the way, I did win it last year. But I'll, I'll still win it. I'm still going to go 22 times. But this is the hardest, the hardest fucking um, trip you do this year is to go to Brisbane and try to beat Brisbane over there. Full side. They haven't lost there. Or maybe they didn't lose there last year. And and what? The, the year after, I think the year before, maybe they lost once or twice, whatever, you know. So, you know, like, it's it's a fortress over there. It's going to be tough. But I'll, I'll, we'll be down there. The whole Jumper Punch crew is going to be down there. We're going to be filming 
Rocking Around the Burbs. That's our new segment. We went to Ligon Street this week. Next week, we'll be in Brisbane to filming Rocking Around the Burbs. So everyone catch that. Uh, but I did promise everyone, if I do see that mascot, I'm going to tackle him to the ground. So that is- <laughs> I, um, I, I, I was going to say, Rocco, that I saw that yesterday, Rocking the Burbs, uh, and it was a great, uh, it was a great uh, se- segment. It was really, really funny. Um, the only downside, of course, was that really... it, was, it was in Carlton and not, not, not much in terms of personalities there, except for that young lady, the Footscray supporter. She was, she had a bubbly personality. And Marco, just... who, Marco, who owns Donini, wasn't good. Or what about the other bloke who owns the other restaurant? They weren't any good. No, no, no. So you no, did no a person- so no personality. Did a- we were going to go down to Johnson Street, but we, we were getting sick of the, the manure and the sewage running over our feet down the street. Stabbed there, Just make sure, you put on, make sure you put on some false teeth when you get down there so you can fit in with the, with the guy. I'm going to have to get one of bloody Mark's security doors when I go down there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, All right, I thought... I was going to say, I thought those two lovely Richmond supporters you interviewed made the, made the whole oh, process yes. a very beautiful one to watch. So, no, no, well done on that uh, yes, uh, yes, Rock and yes. Bird. It's a very good segment. Yeah, yeah. It's it gonna, I'm coming out. This is going to be the biggest segment of the year. We found some real rippers out there, and we had a ball, and we'll be travelling all around Melbourne. We'll be going to Richmond, Essendon, Collingwood. We're even going to go down to uh, Ballarat. We're going to go down to Bendigo. Your sponsor down there. Whose dog is that? Whose dog is that? I don't have one. It's not me. I haven't got one either. It's not my yes. one. Well, where's that dog coming from? Come on, it's one of you. It must be you, Mark, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? He doesn't even know he's got a dog there. How can you talk about the spy? You don't even know you got a dog. Hey, that security door is... Go keep the dog out. I don't need security doors. <laughs> no, we do. We oh, yeah. That was a, a, for your Richmond supporters, I, um, unfortunately, their favourite player was Boost. But Boost. I think Boost. Bruce. <laughs> so <laughs> they don't even like any of their Bruce. Did we say who's going to win out of uh, – did we choose about who's going to win the Gold Coast in uh, Richmond? Yes, no, so next that. Gold Coast in Richmond, I'm – well, this is going to be actually a very interesting game. What do you guys think? Oh, I'm saying Gold Coast. Gold Coast for me. I I reckon I reckon if we had a full side, it'd be a lot more confident. More more so Lynch um, in the forward line there. But I'm like yeah. you, Rock. I won't tip against my boys. So I'm going to go 22 out of 22 to Richmond um, or 24, I should yeah. say. But yeah, I'll go to the Tigers. Yeah, this yeah. one this one is my toss of the coin game, mate. So uh, let's see how we go. Heads, Gold Coast, tails, Richmond. Thanks, Jason. I have got tails. Who's that? Wow. Uh, tails. Who would you reckon? Richmond, obviously. Who was tails, Richmond? The away uh, team. The away team is Gold Coast and wow. tails is away. So, Richmond. Go tails. But, um, yeah. Good on your so, hard week, mate. Good luck, hard week. Good luck, you, Dave. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, Richmond. Richmond, all right. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to go the Gold Coast. I just think, like, as you said, with the injuries going down there and then the Hardwick, we forgot to mention, like, the Hardwick yes. thing is a big thing, mate. It's a big thing there, man. Oh, so, yeah, looking forward, looking forward to it. Hey, we've got someone, Tigers, are my second favourite team. You are a hey, disgrace. Hey, hey, quickly. Much love, Jason. Much love. Well, well, I've got you, Quinn. If um, if um, Richmond play Gold Coast, say, at the MCG, do you reckon your supporters would boo Damien Hardwick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. I reckon, I, I, reckon, I reckon they would. Of course they would. Yeah, of course they would. I, 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 I wouldn't. I would Personally, Mark, I wouldn't. I wouldn't boo yeah. him, but I reckon yeah. people would. Yeah, I reckon really? Would. Yeah, you, of course. You, know, you get nuffies in every team, though, Mark. You look all over the comp, and people are booing players. Like it's it, 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 players, past players. So, sorry, Manny, you guys there. Um, Collingwood were booing uh, Brody Grundy after the club sacked him. Yeah, he didn't want to leave. We're talking about players. Yeah, it's not even his fault. Players. We're talking about coaches. I don't. 
I'm yeah, I know, saying- I know, but it's they're in the same they're in the same realm. They're both, you know, they were, but yeah, but I still think because of the way he left, if he had a, yes. you know, left in other circumstances, the fact that he packed up halfway through the season, then said yeah. he was done, and then he went back. I think that's that's the reason. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah. to answer Aiden's question on screen, yeah, Rance is involved at the Suns as well, as well as Sean Grigg and a few other Richmond people. So, wow, there's, okay. um, that'd be interesting. I can't wait yeah. for that game. I think it's, are, are they playing? Is Richmond playing Gold Coast at home in, in at the MCG this year at all? Or? Uh, that's a good question. I don't believe so. Yeah, I might have to look into okay. that one. I might have to look into that one. But no, yeah. no, no, quickly, no, they won't play because they'll only get they'll only get thirty thousand mark. They won't get people to give them to G. Here uh, we go. Just quickly, off topic, off topic for our four clubs. Robert Galuccio with a fantastic question asking about the Elsenwick reigning premiers preseason. And let me tell you, Rob. Training's going well. Preseason's looking good. The club's shaping up all right. The only negative is that we're still training Monday, Wednesday, so that without their star player on Wednesday nights, because he's going to be here on the show for all you lot that are watching. But Commitment. we're looking good. We're shaping up all right. We've moved up the division. We're looking good. So Can I just say, I, Quinny and, and all of you boys come down to the studio and, and we did some videos and had a drink and that. And, um, mate, Quinny. You're looking superb, mate. You are a specimen of a man, mate. You are looking fit and healthy. Loving it. Loving it. I tell you what, well, I was at the front of your place, Rocco, before I popped into the studio. I quickly did a yeah. few push-ups, a few squats just to get everything popping. I put a bit of baby lotion on. I was looking better than I usually do, but I'll take it. I appreciate that. You're wearing the right colours, mate. You're wearing the right colours, buddy. That's the only negative. Unfortunately, Quinny, you're frozen as soon as you put that picture up. <laughs> Is it better now? <laughs> no, no, you're still. No, no we can't it's see it. It's still you. gone. Yeah, Let me try to yeah, see yeah, you. I can hear you, but you're frozen. But anyway, while you're trying to repair that, there was one more game. Uh, yes. And that was Collingwood and GWS over there at. Um, the the uh, Queensland there, I suppose. Um, so, I think um, I think if um, if the umpires do the right thing and don't uh, show any uh, being bias, like against uh, Collingwood and uh, and um, last year's I, game, I wouldn't be talking, um, man. Made the the umpires. Gave you last year, but anyway. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you want to come and say hello? Come on, come and say hello. Come on, this is live. Come on, just come and say hello. Hey, hey. how you going? Hey. Are you a, sorry, what was your name? I forgot your name. Alec, uh, Alec, 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 the stat, Alec, Alec, the stat man. I love it. The stat man, Alec, the stat man. Up, that's it. Come sit down. Come see me. Well, I'm going to say that uh, it's going to be a good game. Um, I think uh, Colin will just will just get over the line again because we are just uh, we're, we're the masters of um, shutting the game down. And what about you, Marco? Oh yeah, this game's going to be a cracker, mate. But I, I think Collingwood won't continuously uh, win games by you know under a goal anymore this year. I think it's there. Gonna, you I go, Quinny. I think it's going to take its toll. So yeah, you're back. GW, GWS will win this game by 12 points. Sorry, Manny. Oh, nice. I'm going to go. Just... I'll give you five tips. I just think that, I just think, um, yeah, GWS being over there, they're actually a good side, GWS. So I think they're going to they're gonna take this one here. Yeah, you don't have to apologise to me, Mark. You've got to remember something. This year, what about me, you? What I'm more you relaxed. I'm more relaxed this year, Mark. I told um, you. I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go. The... Back. Pains me to say it, but I'll, I'm going to go the pies. I'm going to. I know they do travel well, so I'll go the pies. I'll see how they start the year. Wise man, sing. Also, oh, j- just quickly as well with the comment, give me. Uh, I thought we were mates. You're trying to get me booted from the uh, booted from the show in those comments there. Come on, Jimmy. I thought we were friends. Yeah, what's going on? We're all friends here. Aren't we? He goes. Just couldn't get the boot for mentioning the flag. No, no, no. Because my flag's more important. I tell you what, I just noticed. I just noticed uh, in the commentary 
there was a uh, rat poison daughter of a suicide. No, <laughs> no. You're going to put those sort of things. I don't want to. I'm not going to put your name up. I was going to say that's a bit frightening. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's a wow. return viewer from last season. Return viewer from last season, Mr. Rapp. No, no, he's, he's just changing name. Come on, let's not. I'll tell you something, man. Like, even the word jumper punch, we're having troubles with YouTube because the word punch. Right? Wow. So, this is the society we live in, you know? So, but we are, we are rebranding everything to like. TJP, which is like the Kentucky Fried Chicken kind of deal, you go to you go to the thing, right? But yeah, so you, you just got to be careful. You put something up and they bloody bang you, you know, whatever. Uh, Seba, oh look at this, he has been. Everyone hit the like, of course. Everyone hit the like, mate. What are you doing? Oh, and the other thing I want to uh, mention quickly is there's going to be four challenges Ooh, this year between the Forever Rivals. We have got. What do we got, fellas? We got a bowling. Darts. We, have, we got the darts. We have got a football challenge, which Quinny will probably take that. And then we've got a cricket challenge. Woo! We're going to have an indoor cricket match. So we're going to do that throughout the year, and we're going to see who the real champion is. So how is this, so how's this cricket challenge going to work? I think what we're going to do is we might split us to – like we might go two and two, right? And then we'll fill the rest of the team with some other players, right? Yeah, with my brother, right? Bring, son, you know, bring, your, bring your son, Manny, you know, Quinn, bring a couple of boys there from the club, whatever. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, yeah, no, I've never oh, played cricket, but I like to play cricket. We could do tennis. I would smash all of you. So we could do a tennis one if you want, but I think we will stick to We'll stick to them four for now. So how's that going? All right. Uh, what else? What else? What else? It's been uh, wow, wow. It's been two hours. No, it's been an hour and a half. We bad. normally don't even go to an hour and a half, mate. We normally no, no, it's, it's been good, hour. man. And as I said, this year with the with the jumper punch, we're taking a break from legends because we've got the other stuff going on, rocking around the verbs and that. So this is the main show on the Wednesday night. So just yeah, we just quickly, Rocco. Uh, now we. Oh, yeah. we I like we, this. We, I think it has to, to be on the cards. No. Forget, forget I the boxing match. I, who forget the boxing match. boxing match between Carlton and Collingwood? You don't want a boxing match. You're going to That's a poor jumper Rocco. punch. Poor Rocco will go down. That like is a, a jumper punch. Like a sack of potatoes. You reckon? I'll show you what. Oh, I guarantee you. I'll tell you now, what. Anyway, regardless. You me. Yeah. My question here is this. Why are they playing this zero round? And what's that all about? Well, Quinny, you probably know more about it. I mean, I do know about it, but do you want to explain why they've done it? Yeah, I'll, I'll go into it, Rock. Um, yeah, so basically, Manny, the NRL, which is obviously predominantly in Queensland, in Sydney, have taken off for the week and they're playing over in Las Vegas. So the AFL has thought to capitalise on their absence in the home state and they've put footy up in Sydney in Queensland to try and boost the supporter base that we have up there whilst there's no NRL going on. Although I'm pretty sure the weekend that they get back is the same weekend that we're up there. So it's a bit of an interesting clash, but that's the main reasoning behind it. There might be a bit more to it, Rock. I'm not sure, but that's pretty much my understanding of it is the while the NRL is in Las Vegas, we've moved in. Yeah. I reckon the money, money, exactly money. That's exactly right. what okay. happened. I don't think we need it, but anyway, look, the, the thing is that the first of all, the naming, Round zero, which is what are we doing here, right? That's the first thing. Second of the thing, right? I don't get why only eight teams playing, right? I because I know they wanted to play, but why couldn't they play over play the rest of the games here? We got a buy in round three. Yeah. Essendon have got a buy before the season starts. Like I think yeah. Richmond might be round five or Collingwood might be round five, something like that. Like, like so we play two games and we get a buy. Like, yeah. some of it just does not make sense, you know what I mean? Just sometimes the wheel does not have to be reinvented. It works yeah. fine, mate, yeah. you know? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's ruining, it's ru ruining um, I think, uh, as one of the uh, chaps I heard uh, the other day who said to me, it's ruining um, tra tradition. You know, you know, yeah. you know, round one, it's the Carlton 
the Richmond clash. That's that. That's it. You know, and 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 other teams. Now all of a sudden, you, you take that away. You know, you try. You know, it's yeah. I don't know. It's to me, it's a bit. Well, it's a bit silly. I get, sorry, I get like um non calm and Richmond people, right? I had an Essen supporter come up. He works there at work. I won't mention him and that. They're coming up and they go, we look forward to the opening game being calm in Richmond. You know what I mean? It's just the way it is. You know, everyone looks forward to it. They, they're good games. We get, massive, we get massive crowds. Even at our worst, we get massive crowds. And then they decide to like, oh, we'll change it around and that's so whatever. It's your train set. Do whatever you want with it. You know what I mean? But I, I, I'm not completely happy with it. No, no, yeah. no. It's stupid. It's stupid. But, but then again, you know, it's like like uh, like Quinn said that it's uh, it's about trying to uh, maybe promote it uh, in New South Wales and Queensland while uh, while they're away. But you know, I can tell you right now, I I know people that lived in New South Wales for a long time who live in in Victoria nowadays, and they still don't like. Um, AFL, and when you're talking about AFL and you're talking about you know rugby, they, you know that's you know there's they, they won't even there's no comparison to it. That's what they're growing up. That's the passion they have, and that's what it is. I mean, I don't know what they're trying to achieve from it. They're only going to get a couple of few few little kids that are going to turn and say, "Oh, you know what, well, Mum, Dad, I like AFL." Oh, who knows? I don't know. It's stupid. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess the beauty, yeah, I guess the beauty about it as well is that. We all get to watch a few games of football this week because we we're all addicted to yeah, yeah. drugs, and we get to watch a few good games and um, we move on. But yeah, so oh, look, man, it's football. just it's like seriously at the end of the day, like oh, like really, I hate all your sides. I wish nothing but misery, you know, for for everything that happens, you know, like to you guys, not to you personally, but your team. I wish nothing yeah. but yeah. Death, misery. But yeah. it is so good. When the footy's back, man, I love yeah. it. Even even watching Carlton run out on that practice match, right? You just get this buzz about you. You see your team; they're running out, you know. So it's just it's look, footy's life, man. We're in Melbourne. Yeah. For, I love it, man. I just love it. Yeah. But it's like you said, though, we're, we're in Melbourne, you know. And and what was wrong with them just throwing maybe a couple of? I mean. They're trying you know, to get into their market, you know, which they, and there was a funny, didn't the 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 CEO of like rugby say that they're ahead of the AFL? I think that bloke has um been having a few like funny cigarettes with Mark Robinson, mate, because those the the, the worst statement. I mean, I know you can you can project it and manifest things and, and believe stuff. But reality is reality. We get more people at our training than they get at a game. So jam it up, you cracker. The, the NRL, the bloke that said that at the NRL, don't worry about hanging out with uh, Mark Robinson. He's been hanging out with our Mark here. That's the craziest statement I've heard since uh, Mark said it was the Sleeping Giants last year. So they, I reckon they're hanging out together, these two. I think so. I think you've been giving him too many peptides, mate. Mate, you've been right. no- I tell you what. Um, one thing that we we didn't we didn't do and we didn't mention um, is um, prediction of where our club is going to finish at the end of the season. You can't say that. I don't like predictions because it's all we've done it. Shit. We've done it on the rules. We just done it. So on the rules. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just just throw my prediction. I, I reckon Collingwood is going to finish uh, sixth. We did, we did it on the reels. Did everyone watch our reels? I hope so. Yeah. But what's it? Well, maybe they have. But I'm, I'm predicting Magpies are going to be in the, the in the eighth, but around the sixth sixth position. <laughs> That's what I reckon. <laughs> you wonder what, what, about you? Finish the what about you, Marcos? Since we've started this, what oh, about you? Man? You know, we, 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 I reckon we'll be fighting for top top four. I reckon. I reckon fifth. Top four. <laughs> uh, uh, You're going to fight. You're fighting for top four, what, in round one, maybe? Nostradamus <laughs> is here. Mate, hey, shut up. You did hey, Nostradamus last hey, year. You were a banana. Hey, hey, have you been spraying? Have you been spraying in the can? And you made, we'll make, what the we'll hell? The are you talking about? And, and we'll you know when you do, do security cores and you paint them? You know when you paint them, right? Do you wear a mask? 
Wow. And what about Richmond? What do you reckon? I, I, I was going to make a joke about top four, but Mark stole my thunder there. So, no, I reckon we'll be flo- I reckon we'll float just outside the eight, if I'm being genuine, just outside the eight. About what, 14, 15, Quinn? No, nah, a bit higher than that. A bit higher than that. Oh, oh just, out, just a little bit. Oh, right. About well, 10- 11th, 12th around there. <laughs> the bag is third. Tigers 12, Don 16, and the Cold Pies 10. Well, that's his prediction, so I, I actually agree with that. I think with Carlton, realistically, I, I think we've, we're, we are really fighting for that top four. We'll be around that four, five, six mark. I don't know, injuries and all that count. That's what I think. I think you've got to finish top four if you want a chance of winning that grand final. I think Manny's trying to be a little bit conservative there. He wants to be smart enough. Collingwood will finish in that top four. I think yeah. Quinn's correct about what he says, and um, I think he's absolutely right. And, Mark, I think you're absolutely sucking in that paint and, and during the day because if you make it anywhere past four, 12th, I'll be shocked. You should actually okay. have a party if you finish – Anywhere near that 12th position. Okay. I'll hold you to that, Rock. Well, what, what, are, you, well, what are you going by, though, Mark? What are you going by? You know, because because well, I can tell you, the the year that uh, Western Bulldogs oh, won the, the Premiership, right, the year they won it, the last three, four games, as the season was finishing, you knew that they were going to be a serious contender for the following year, and they won the flag. You guys looked... Pretty average, man. You guys were like at one stage. At one stage, I, 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 I think it was like the Mowatch of Footy. Yeah, what, what, I, you know, I actually thought it was a an AFL um, uh, VFA game, VFL game in the in the fifties and forties. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, man, it's, 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 not, it's not bagging it. It's not bagging it. Oh, there's reasons for things, and obviously, obviously, we had a, we had a. We had a great start to the year last year, mate. We were eight and three or something at one stage, mate. Right? You guys so finished got first. Of, you guys finished first matter. after round Doesn't one. Matter. So we got we had we got a lot of young players, and we, we just failed towards the end of the year. We, we just didn't compete. Now we've recruited some players. If you want to ask me the question, what's going to be the difference this year? We've recruited some players, and hopefully that can make a difference. It's just like every year there's one or two clubs. That, that have finished thirteenth or fourteenth, that might just get up there and get close to it, mate. So, <laughs> you, you can only bloody hope, mate. Excuses. Uh, yeah, no. I, I think Manny's a, a dud, right? But he's 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 spot on this time, man. All he's right. spot well, on. Okay. You're you can only have oh, hope, all right? Mark, all I'm saying is that you've got to be able to finish off in, in a way that it's going to show. You know what? All right, we've had a you know topsy turvy sort of side, or so you know. In a year, but at least you try and finish up. And the yeah. way you guys got done well, by the Magpies, by the reigning premiers, and then and then all of a sudden you've you, you know you're saying that oh we just missed out, mate. You guys were miles yeah. away, yeah. miles well, away. I was yeah. I was in I was in New South Wales, and, and you were just around a corner in Reservoir. Mm. That's how yeah. that's how far well, apart we were. We, we didn't we didn't finish off well last year, but we started off well. So at the end of the day. We're going to have to make that change. We need to finish off next year. And if we do, God only knows, mate. So this, I've got man, for it's like, so, you know, this starting off slow. And, man, it's like when you when you sleep with your beautiful wife, man. You, you can start any way you want, but if you don't finish well, you, you're done, mate. And you, you're that's, done. That's exactly what happened to us. <laughs> that's fine. I accept that. So we've, we've, we've got to learn from that, mate. That's all there is to it. You learn from it, mate. You learn from it. When was, you know, when was the last time? If you it happens one... again, then there's some serious issues. You've got to get how long, how long has it been, you've got to long has it been Mark? Mark, how long, has it, how long has it been since you guys won the flag? Too long, mate. Too long. Well, how many years is it? I don't know. How, I don't worry about the flag. It's been like 7,000 days since they won a bloody final. And that's and that's all right. And that's okay. You know what? Because one day I'll sit here and go, ha, ha, ha. When would you guys win a final? When did you guys? Yeah, win I know, fight? but I'll be in a retirement home, and I'll probably have a oh, old oh, time as by then. Retirement home, home mate. When when come the up, and you're ready to go. Who are you, mate? When Who the are you? Win a flag. When the Carlton win a flag. Ninety-five. We we're hopeless, ah. man. We're shit. I'm a mitigant. Oh, I'm shit. Right. We're shit. We've done okay, nothing. 
But, but you know what, though? You still got to make your club. Hey, Rocco, but... It, club. Well, when you, finish, when you finish third for the year and you make it to a, a prelim, I believe that we can continue on. But when you don't even make the A and you maybe fall not. away, maybe you fall not. away maybe like, maybe. you know one of those, you know one of those blow-up doll things that go like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's what you did. You went like, oh, and then, oh, you fell over, mate. So, so what and I, he only knows the dogs that do these ones. With the, players <laughs> got, with, the players that with the players that you've got at the moment, you should be top four next year. You should. I know. That's right. right. And, if you don't, don't and if you don't, if you get some but injuries. But if I don't, if my grandma had balls, she'd be my grandfather. <laughs> and the you player, go. So you just don't know. know. Hey, you Mark, right. your prediction Mark, at the start of the, of the season, right? You've told me. Yeah. My prediction was we should be fighting for top four. That's yeah. it. That's my okay. prediction. Yeah. Your prediction is after you fell over like one of those big dolls, right? Yeah. That's, your yeah. prediction is now to be the, the top four teams in the league. Correct. Because we've re re oh, recruited. Hell. We have recruited differently. We've recruited with some other experience. Look at Geelong. That's all we might need. We might need those players to come through, mate. And all of a yeah, sudden, but, but your coach, like, but your coach huh? is shit, Mark. Your coach is but shit. Your your coach has got now. What do you mean? What do you mean? How do I know? He's only coached he was, for one year. Yeah, but he, yeah, but what did he do at North Melbourne? Yeah, but North Melbourne, the the, the, the players. Oh, the players, well, what that, what's the difference that's between not just the coach, mate? They what's the difference the coach, between they the whole? Hey, listen. You know what the difference is between. Um, North Melbourne and Essendon. You know what the difference is? What's that? Mount Alexander Road. That's it. There's only one road that what's separates you, mate. What's the difference it's between a bunch shit. What's the difference between Carlton and Collingwood? Huge difference. Is there? <laughs> Huge difference. I tell you quickly, just this this rat poison oh. daughter and the last word. I, I, I'm loving your comments. You've got to take out that last word, man. I'm telling you, like, I just I don't want to put that up on the screen. Sorry, bro, but I love your comments. But that word, man, I'm telling you, YouTube are real funny about these things, mate. So if you can do that for us, I'll chuck on your comments. Uh, All right, it is what it is. Wait for the year to start, mate. Wait for the year to start. Wait for the year to start. Oh, yeah, you yeah, yeah. did too. But you did get the Dons just recruited the 1992 All-Australian Ruckman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey, Mark, you know, oh, poison. it's, it's, it's not terrible. me, mate. Do you think that it's I don't terrible. want it? It's not me, Rat Poison. I'm, I'm not too politically correct. Trust me. You don't know me properly. I'm far from that. I'm just saying... For what YouTube do to us, mate, they give us a hard time, YouTube. Trust me. Um, so, but I'm loving your comments. I do love your comments. He just wrote, Rocco, you're too, too, far too politically correct. Um, Essence supporters have always been this very optimistic. They have been. Um, these are all his comments. I'm loving his comments. Uh, what else? He, uh, he reckons that. Harry to kick five over Ben. I reckon Harry's going to kick like nine over Ben. You know, you know Ben. He's the, you know, he's like, he's the, he's the son. You know that that the whole family feels sorry for. You know, so and he's recruited him. Mate, can Harry can't even kick straight, mate. How's he going to kick five fucking goals? No, he can't kick straight, but he'll kick nine on you. Oh, not me, mate. Not me. Well, like, uh, on your shit side. May as well be you. We'll, we'll just wait and see. <laughs> it might as well be you. That's exactly right. Now, nah, look, I, on, a, on, a, on a serious note, I, I think that um, it's fantastic that you got clubs like Essendon who are struggling because yeah. it, there's, nothing, there's nothing more pleasurable. Um, I can tell you From right now, I can tell you right now that oh, yeah. every... I mean, I didn't know this, but I know that Collingwood and Carlton have always had the rivalry, but I didn't realise how much Carlton supporters hate Essendon. It's it's oh. like like people Carlton supporters tell me it, the the hatred comes from the heart, like it's like really deep. I couldn't believe it. Collingwood, Carlton, are okay, we've always had that rivalry, but Carlton hate Essendon. For them, it, this is this new, is music. It's the new. It's um. The old, the old school like me, it's Collingwood. 
and even the, even the young people, of course, it's all Collingwood and Carlton is still the biggest rivalry. That's it. But the young generation, the younger yeah. generation, do hate Essendon. We face. We've always at the edge. We've always at the edge over the guys. Yeah, except for the last twenty years. But before that, yeah, was the young generation then rock? <laughs> Fifty years old, ten years old. But you said always had the edge. You haven't always had the edge. It's just all been beaches in... again this year. All beaches again this year. Did you just beat us last year? Yeah. Which game? I think the game that we played you in. We only played once and you bet us. Oh, you did yeah. too. That's that was actually the turnaround game. Thank you very much. Mm, we ended up playing. We ended up playing in the preliminary and you were holding up the ladder. That was a fantastic game. Thank you very that's much. Right. Uh, Rocco, hang on. They were unlucky. They just missed out. They just missed out. And potentially they had they not missed out, they would have done I reckon they would have done a bit of damage in the uh, Toby Crook in the a finals. Big, a big big supporter of Man, our game. Yeah, as well. We them, but we hate Colin. We'll right. I'll support yeah, you, boys, mate. I'll keep him going. So, are we, going, are, are, right. are we going? Are we going to organise uh, uh, a, a day where we get all going to meet uh, at the uh, at the studio? Go, go and get your merch. Ooh. Product Ooh. placement. Yeah, product placement. That's it. Product placement. Yeah, yeah. Uh, get your merch. Yeah, no, no. We'll, we'll we'll meet up. You know what? One day, you know what? We'll meet up. We'll let everyone know, and and everyone can meet and can meet down at our Angers restaurant, and we can uh, have a meal and that. How's that sound? Perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah that'd be good. All that'd right. be really, really I'll good. Know. Get everybody there. But right, um, listen, I'm really, I'm really like sick, uh, sick of you guys. Like especially Manny. I'm telling you, that head is freaking me out, man. Like you. Like the other day, I saw him at work, and I had to take the rest of the day off. I couldn't drive trains anymore. So um, it's been a great show, right? So just remember, guys. Uh, first of all, get onto the Jumper Punch, rocking around the burbs. Uh, get to all our shows. The Jumper Punch this year has gone to next level, man. Um, we've got new shows. We're and oh, we're 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 going to announce. Finally, in two weeks' time, we'll have all the details. But Jumper Punch will be on stage this year for a show in June. So we're going to do an on-stage show. I reckon, oh, wow. you, I reckon you guys can make an appearance on that stage too. What do you reckon? Uh, so, that's, so that's something to look forward to in Brisbane. Uh, what else? Yeah, just, just look. Push the like, subscribe, go over to Jump Up and subscribe. If anything, become a member. Become a member. This year we've got a thousand dollar hamper to give away. You get a chance to sit on the couch. Uh, you get a chance to have a kick with Ange. We've got all that going on if you become a member. I just want to say by doing that, you help everyone out, man. Like everything we do here is all because of our you guys. And most of all, I think I haven't forgot anything, but Corton, thank you for coming on board. We are now, but now the, all I can say is Forever Rivals now is secure with their security doors and blinds. And if you go yeah. down, we're going to put the link in there. You go down, see Corten, you will get, how much do you get off if you mention any of us? 10% off the proposal. 10%, 10, 10, 10. that's huge, mate. And jump on Facebook and like us. Go and see some pictures, like our albums. Um, we cater for everyone in the northern side. Have, so, have you guys got? Have you guys got aluminium doors? Uh, all aluminium security doors, not glass doors. Okay, no. Well, is, what, is it? Is it a similar type of aluminium? Get rid of him. Aluminium. Get rid of him, Rock. He's finished. Uh, he forgot. He forgot. He forgot. Anyway, before he, I put him back on, let's go, Luca. Luca, our friend. He came on once. Once. I'm pretty sure that's him. Double double, <laughs> we forgot to mention double double. Now they're going to move over basketball. They're also going to be doing AFL talk, so it's going to be a bit of both. But they're going to start moving. That's going to come on every Friday. Make sure you support the kids, man. I'm telling you, to be 18 years old, 17 years old. Actually, happy birthday, Luca. We just went to his birthday. Um, to be that, to come on camera, put yourself out there, mate. You're champions, man. So thank you very much. Well uh, done, boys. Have, Great show as well. Great show. Have you learned your lesson yet? That was one more slap across the <laughs> nut. So right now. 
Uh, we're gonna listen first. We're gonna do that every Wednesday, seven thirty. We're gonna come on and we're gonna entertain you. I can't wait for. If you see us down in Brisbane, come down. We'll be doing the street talk. But if you see us, man, and you want to buy me a beer, I will not stop you one little bit. And I'll drink a beer with you. How's that sound? All right, guys. Good on you, Rocco. How's that go? How's that go? How was that for the first show? Everyone happy with that? Happy enough, mate. Picked up right where we left off, but made it even better this year. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you to everyone in the comments jumping on board. It's, you know, I know you've said it before, Rock, but the love and support is amazing. Mostly hate right. coming our way, but we love it anyway, so I appreciate it. It's That's great. why we brought it. Oh, and one it's more thing, Tiger Den. Everyone get on to Tiger Den, man. We'll be we'll be sharing all our stuff and that. We're going to co be collaborating all our stuff and that. So it's a Tiger Den. The mighty party, it's a Tiger Den. Mate, he does a great – you just saw the way he analyses the game, mate. This is what you'll get yeah, from – Yeah, no, 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 no. Every single time, mate. You know, you know what? You need you, – you always need someone that's got the unique ability to break down a game and analyse it. And, you know, no, full credit to Quinn. You're, uh, you've done an amazing job, Quinn. And, um, yeah, that's all I could say. And it's fantastic to put his back in 2024. And um, – and I wish everyone a wonderful season and uh, everyone to keep healthy and uh, and hopefully we can uh, continue on uh, with banters and banters and and uh, you know good luck to everyone everyone's team and uh, hopefully um, the Magpies can do it back to back. I didn't say anything. I didn't... You deserve <laughs> the word. On that note, <laughs> the word back. You can't say it. I was going to oh, say. Yeah. We have to bring some like intelligence because you're simpleton mind. We have to elevate it somehow. So anyway, all right, listen, guys. Uh, I don't think we've missed anything. Back next no. week. Thank you very much. Go to Blues. Um, is there anything Hello, else? Guys. Go That's down to Pies. And let's do it. And let's finish it off with. Let's finish it off with. Wait, I've got to get. I'm. I'm a little bit rusty. Even last night, I was a little bit rusty. But uh, Rusty. thanks, guys, for joining us. And go Blues! Hot Hot guys. Oh, we're still on.